So I thought I would do uh, an abstract painting for beginners. So you can't really go wrong with this. What you're gonna do is wet the paper and it doesn't really matter uh, how much. Definitely don't put too little on and you can see how much water is on it uh, by looking at the angle of it against the light. So we'll put some water on and then we're just going to come in. So these are all hake brushes. We're just going to come in with some colors. So I'm going to be using, and the colors will all be in the descriptions below, but we'll just come in. And this is going to be abstract, but abstract landscape, you know, because for me, it's always landscape. We'll just, we'll just come in like that. This is cobalt blue light red mix, and then we might just reciprocate that down here. That's interesting. And then I might get some yellow ochre. Might come in and charge some areas. Get a bit more fresh yellow ochre. Get a little bit of cobalt blue. Just charge up a bit of an area here with cobalt blue. Grab the yellow ochre again. Have a bit more yellow ochre. Bit more yellow ochre. Wow, beautiful. And we might just get a little bit of uh, burnt umber. That'll explode when it hits the water. Beautiful. Get a bit of raw amber. Beautiful. Beautiful movement of water. You can see the, because I've gone this way with the brushes, there's a big puddle of water right here. So um, if I just left this to dry, I'd cauliflower out that way. So, um, and, and again, if this was, totally pure abstract then it can be whatever it needs to be you know do that's the great thing about abstracts there's no rules at all but i suppose if you're trying to um sell something then the only rules are does anyone else actually like it apart from you You can see there's water there. If I start to move this up like that, it'll start to go that way. If I start to move it down this way, it'll all that all that water will move and bring the pigment with it. Because someone was asking me the other day, like, why did you paint it flat instead of upright? That huge watercolor that you painted, and it's because of all this movement that occurs. So I could start to turn this into a landscape. You know, I could. Um, start to, uh, you know, uh, bring in, you know, the beginnings of something, you know. And maybe it might be, you know, reflected down in there, but just spray a bit here. Nice. Just using my round sable to just mop up a bit. And I could do the same here if I wanted. I could mop up, I could use a tissue. So you could start to turn this into a landscape. You know, for me, there looks like some trees here, some autumnal colors. This could be a mountain here, you know, that sort of thing. This could be water here reflecting all of this. Start to work with that. But I think this is essentially a abstract for beginners. You know? So we could essentially just stop right here if we wanted. Um, the other thing I might just sh show you though is that um, 
grab this one. If you didn't want this water that's here to start bleeding up this way, which was always going to do because I pushed it, I pushed it all in to a dam, and then it's because it's a flat page, it's going to start to come out. If you didn't want that to be the case, then you would get a clean wet brush but not too wet a little bit damp and then you would start to just feather along the edges so you could start to just play with that a bit and that would prevent that from occurring got to be nice and gentle on the page doing that if you wanted to prevent that from, you know, for, for me sometimes some of those marks are just beautiful. Some of those, um, some of those watermarks. Anyway, you could keep playing. But I will stop. I will stop in a second, I just want All right, so this was a nice abstract for beginners, wasn't it? So this is a pretty simple, easy abstract watercolor painting for beginners, for sure. And and you could have stopped anywhere along those lines. So I've definitely just um, stopped. I'm going to uh, dry it. So let's just have a look at that. All right, so I've just dried it now. So um, one thing that you've got to remember with watercolors is that they do always dry more pale than they looked on the paper when they're wet. So that's why it's really good to use strong pigment because otherwise you can end up with these wishy-washy watercolors that just don't have any strength of tone. So I'm going to leave it here. You know, I'm, I'm pretty tempted to get a bit of a harder line here by putting in some removable tape, but that would make it less abstract and more of a landscape and it just, it's not as easy for beginners. So we're going to leave it like this. This is the end of this. So thank you very much for joining me. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video next week. So another thing, I just thought I'd let you know that I launched my patron page yesterday. And uh, so if you're interested in that, in extra weekly videos, and of course a private Facebook page and a, and a and deeper connection to me, and, and, and of course to support me and for me to support you in learning watercolour, then... Uh, follow the link below in the description and I'd love to see you over there. So uh, yeah, thanks for joining me tonight. I hope you found this abstract you know, enjoyable and, uh, and of course if you've got any questions then let me know. I love getting questions and trying to help people in you know, watercolour because uh, I love it. So thanks very much for joining me tonight and I'll see you next week. Good night.